Mungu wetu kwanza sio tabia Mungu wetu kwanza ni uhai is living God Murizo ya kufuata Mungu and that's why Paulo anapoandikia Akorintho anasema hivi The peer is smart msiguse anything Aliwaandikia hivi akawaandikia hivi Now mulifuata miungu isiyo nena But today you are following God who speaks na akasema hivi kwa karama za roho karama ambazo Mungu roho wa Bwana hupea watu kwa sababu karama za mtakatifu zina tabia tatu tabia kwanza ya karama za roho ni tabia ufunuo the, the characteristics of revelation revelation kwamba Mungu aweza kukujulisha kitu ambazo hakiwezi kujulikana kwa njia nyingine isipokuwa aongee au atende tulifuata Mungu isiyo nena but now our god is living na nasema ke, na katika karama za roho Mungu hufunua tabia yake ya uhai na tabia moja ya Mungu wetu katika karama zake is revelation our god has revelation revelation is when god and reveals something or speaks about something that cannot be known in any other way unless au ge au aingilie kreta something do you know duniani hii hakuna mtu na hakuna family ambao haina jabo abalo haliwezi suluhisho kwa jia ingine there's no other way unless mungu aingilie You no know, I, I, i was in the barrio of a very dear woman this week one of the pioneers wakazi yetu bali fulani and i i really honored uh nitaita wazee kadha wanipeleke nikaone the mume wake ni mzee wa maana sana sana na ni yusuka na mazishi and the son is a doctor very highly qualified doctor i said maybe Mama yake alianguka akawa na problem. Akasema I consulted the best doctors. I consulted even doctors abroad. And nothing else could be done to my mother except kumwacha kumwachia Mungu na Bwana kamchukua. Katika maisha kuna mambo ambayo inabidi Mungu aongee. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation. Karama za Bwana. Tulifuata Mungu miungu isiyo nena but now our God speaks and one way is through the gift. The gift moja ni revelation. Another way karama za roho Mungu aliye hai hudhihirisha ishara zake is through his power. Power matendo ya nguvu Mungu kuna wakati ambapo his signs he want to show his signs through power power and that's why ukiangalia okay, Paulo alipoenda kwa Akorintho watu abaye ukiwaambia okay, Yesu alikufa ni kama hawaelewi if you go now katika first corinthian first corinthian first corinthian ukienda okay, chapter 2 Mhm. Was one. Basi ndugu zangu. Na mimi ndipo kuja kwenu. Si kuja ni wahubiri siri ya Mungu kwa ufasaha wa maneno. Wala kwa hekima. Maana niliyazimu nisijue neno lolote kwenu ila Kristo naye amesurubiwa. Nami nilikuwa kwenu katika hali ya udhaifu na hovu na matetemeko mengi na neno langu la kuhubiri kwangu hakukuwa kwa maneno ya hekima yenye kushawishi akili za watu because that's what Greeks valued so much maneno ya hekima ya kushawishi akili and Paul said no no I, I can't use that method of Greek philosophy and whatever sikutumia maneno ya hekima ya kushawishi akili za watu bali kwa dalili za roho na za nguvu ili imani yenu isiwe katika he 
hekima ya wanadamu bali katika nguvu za Mungu. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana sasa sana. You see um unaona sasa one of the things that you need to know by the grace of God is that Paul anasema when I reach out to Corinth Corinthians I didn't use philosophy or persuasions maneno tu but I used power demonstrative power kuna wa there are times one way that God reveals his characteristics as a living God is through power demonstration of power healing miracles healing miracles gift of faith hallelujah jabra tatu jengine mungu anafunua uh, tab ishara zake ni katika unabi au karama za ufufio we call them the gifts of inspiration ufufio that is uh, bwana kunena direct kuna wakati Mungu anaamua kunena ananena ananena mwenyewe anasema ninasema hivi ninasema hivi kuna wakati kuna wakati ambapo or the prophecy ni wakati Mungu ananena direct maneno direct ukweli wa mambo yaliyomo sasa na mambo yatakayokuja There are times God decide let me speak about this situation. Let me speak about this situation. Let me speak about this mountain. Let me speak speak. Na wakati wote Mungu anatumia hizo karama za unenaji, inspiration, the gifts of uf, karama za ufufio. No mari akinena neno hilo linatoka na nguvu ya utedaji. God will never release his word and fail to accompany his word. Kwa maana Mungu hataruhusu neno lake liende bila yeye kuhusika alitimize ili kutokee kwamba ishara zake zimeonekana. Hallelujah. And therefore by God's grace kitu kimoja kinafanya Mungu apende kukufuata na ishara zake is because God want to give a clear distinction katikati yake na miugu mingine. Na wakati wote Mungu wetu anakufuta na ishara, what happens? Mungu wetu Jehova atatokea akiwa pekee na akiwa pekee kabisa. Let me tell you the preaching we need to have. The preaching we need to have is this one. Is the preaching of science. Tuhubiri na Bwana atende mambo. Kwa maana dunia sasa inahitaji deliverance. Deliverance Watu wamedaganywa pendwa. Watu wako na vituko wakati umefika naye Bwana aachilie ishara zake. And I want to tell you the truth, we are going to pray about it. Na leo katika ibada hautatoka bila ishara itakao kufuata. We want to declare a sign in your de- in your business, a sign in your marriage, a sign hallelujah. Kama ni vijana ambao hamjawa wasana ah we want to declare your wedding as a sign. Arusi yako itakuwa ishara. I say you are wedding will be a sign. Isiwe tu hallelujah. Wasana wetu hapa mjaolewa bora the only thing I tell girls and young men stuck in chezo. Hii kucheka cheka kuogea of your God you are not working that. Bible says amen blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of ungodly. Na hakuka kwenye baraza ya wenye msaha. Kitu kimoja you know You know we have the anointing. Kitu kimoja anointing haitakubali ni msaha. Na msaha eh na ulegefu sana sana zinaonekana through your face and your action. It's, it's good to be very careful. When God says I'm release a sign, take it seriously, pray about it, let God reveal his face to you. Kwa hivyo tabia ni Mungu angetaka kuonekana akiwa kipekee. And that's why katika Mark chapter 16 utaona Yesu Kristo maneno ya mwisho anaongea kuhusu ijiri. Anasema hivi katika Mark 16 verse verse 15 anasema hivi verse 6 Mark 16 verse 15 akawaambia and then ulimwenguni mote mkaihubiri ijiri kwa kila kiumbe aaminiye na kubatizwa ataokoka asiye amini atahukumiwa not tunasoma mali 
Sasa tuko aya 16. Tuingie aya 17 na ishara hizi hizi zitafuatana na hao waaminio kwa jina langu watatoa pepo watasema kwa lugha mpya haleluya you know even praying for the sick haleluya <laughs> the book talks about hata wale watajaribu kukuroga you know it, it talks about mambo ya madhara sometimes this thing does not mean at wedo shike nyoka awedo kunyo sumu it is it is it talks about the signs let me see this when god says watanyika watashika nyoka na itawadhuru hayogei kusu ushike nyoka inaongea kuhusu ishara ya ulinzi god you not only heal the sick but god you release signs of protection kushika nyoka na ikudhuru means signs of protection amen kukunywa kitu na isikudhuru means internal protection Ek, kushika nyoka na isikudhuru is external protection kukunywa kitu na isikudhuru dani is internal protection i did you understand that it's a sign that god you god you give a sign about inside your body system kutakuwa na ishara ya kulindwa kuna magonjwa na kuna mapigo that you never 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 affect you outside you amen nyoka ni ishara ya witchcraft nyoka ni ishara ya serpent nyoka ni ishara ya ya curses it says externally god you resigns ishara za kukulinda kutoka kana na uchawi na ushetani na laana na every form of satanism did you get that amen praise the lord external and internal signs i like that i say i like that do you know you need it eh when a party unakula chakula you did know iko na shida food poisoning but just god just protect you unaenda bahari yani Yes, there's, there's a way God is talking about sign his own. And, and other things beyond what I'm saying. Now, Bible in the same way, what we get to do when a sign is acceptable sacrifice. Ishara za buwana zitaanza na mutu kwa madhabahu. There are signs that start zinaanza. There are signs that start working in your life. When you offer an acceptable sacrifice in the altar and in your life. Na hiyo sita wa ficha. I want to tell the truth. Na muniangalia vizuri. Na mfikilie. Check in the family. Abao ikona umasikini unaozidi. Wafuate katika the way wanatoa thabihu. I've come to discover most of the poor people who are unakuta unajua watu hakuna mtu anakuwa kasi maskini lakini unaingia kwa maskini and god raises you si ni kweli si ni kweli lakini kuna watu unakaa nao daima daima hata unajaribu namna gani they still remain poor one of the problem na hiyo kitu mimi imenetea shida sana hao watu ni ni, wa, ni wachoyo sana hata kwa Mungu Tuko naye. Umwambia sasa mimi kuna mimi ni huduma. Kuna watu nasaidia kila wakati. Nipe chakula, nipe chakula. That that person you never help even his brother. Ni vigumu sana. Eh? Pasta tabu mtu kama huyo mbebe gari fika ndike dongi. Isha mafuta. Ni vigumu akwambia na hii miambili ukasha mafuta. Inamuuma. Na kikupa atakuibia makote. I remember one time kuna bishop mwabe tu moja mke wake alipewa guo na kiongozi wa mama naye alikuwa na hiyo tabia in one of the churches na akaongea hiyo mambo sana mke wa mchungaji alisimama kanisani sana sana tafadhali ile nguo mlinipa nimewarudishia na akasema msiwahi nipa guo 
namsiwainipa unless mtu anenewe na Mungu kivyake kwa maana hiyo guo ilikuwa jia ku, ya, ku, ya kushusha mke wa bishop kusema mliona vile hana guo hata mkiona sandi ame ana utukufu tunimsaidia akasema no no aba ibomo yoe you know watu ambao Mungu hutumia kubariki wengine they don't they just feel good to bless unajua unasikia you bless somebody una unasahau unamnyia mtu kiatu unasahau unamnyia mtu guo unasahau umepea mtu chakula unasahau unasa but now what we who are persistent poor they are not good in love they are not good in blessing the lord muangalia sadaka kitoa yani unaweka shilingi 10 unafikia mkono unaingiza kwa choro ndani sababu ukisi hutaki tushie karibu tusikie umetoka na zetu unaangusha unaangusha ile youth inaita hardware Boom! don't deceive us usituambie wiki mzima the only money ulipata ni hiyo do you know something mungu hataki tusadaka sema honor me with your offering god does not only receive offering but god says i need my honor in offering wewe mtawa mungu fika five test juu ishirini na nini ni hii tu nimepata usitudaganye bwana mtoto alipeleka high school na shiriki 50000 si ni kweli si ni kweli wapendwa Eh wiki hii umekula 1200 mabaki ya chakula dipetea Mungu and those people niwaambie kitu msikubali sadaka zote mnatoa hapa hata tusikobea zinakubalika i want to tell the truth unajua sadaka ya kaini iliacho hapo hakuna hakuna haku naye lakini ilikataliwa hata anania safira nafikiri waliacha ile sadaka yao ambayo ilaaniwa iliachwa tu hapo lakini wakakufa you know we pray for it tunaka kwa account ya kanisa but not all offering is acceptable nia ya kutoa nia ya kutoa na vile vile una it should be on god with you yani offering should be worship nikwambia god look at what i have i really honor you amen hallelujah Uh, personally i value offering and tithe so much that day tulenda pahali na wachugaji nikawa nimetoa offering juu ya asubuhi saa saba na ini baada ingine i said god nikaangalia kakuta oh sina ile sadaka ambayo huwa anapenda kutoa ya mungu nilikopa kabia wewe nipe giri moja wewe giri moja giri ingine ili ifike ile sadaka kwa ile niko na ile store hata kama nimekoa ibada zingine kama tatu nikaambia nitawarudishia because i can't give god by the way i can't give god anything i can only give god honor amen na niliamua sitatoa sadaka chini ya kiwango hiki na si pesa kidogo hallelujah nikiona sina naangalia simu naangalia i tell you i i naweza pigia mtu ambia please can you send me this several thousands why nitakurudisha saa ingine niacho na deni yake but i honor god you people si unakopa pesa ndio ulipia mtoto skufis si ni kweli i can borrow money niacho ni grip katikati ya wiki so that i can give god honor god does not receive offering just offering he receive offering and it's honor na mara nyingi ishara za bwana zinafotokea katika sacrifice. Ukiangalia kitabu cha Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. If you check the Bible, utaona kwamba utaona kwamba kuna ishara ilitokea hapo. Genesis chapter 4. I hope unaweza eda hapo haraka sana. Genesis chapter 4. Ha. Tunapenda sana mtu awe na Bible. Na tukasema you can miss Bible once but don't come without Bible the next Saturday. Bible nasema the Bible talks about um, Genesis chapter 4 verse 2 then she broke again 
akazaa tena this time his brother Abel and now Abel was a keeper of sheep and Cain was a tiller of the ground sio ni kazi sio ni kazi wampewa na Mungu yes then you let me do the truth ukitaka kujua biashara yako itakaa sio tu kufukua biashara whenever god gives you a business immediately kwa maana hawa walipoa biashara wewe you are a tiller of ground wewe ni mkulima na wewe wewe you are keeper of sheep god demanded his honor in the business sema please Bible says, in the process of time hawakujua katika maisha god introduced something about haikuweko for the first time god said i need fast fruit i need honor in fast fruit hai uh, adam na eve hawakujua offering lakini when the life started na bwana akapewa hao vijana wao kazi bwana bible says something very interesting and in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of fruit of the ground to the lord okay the verse four bible says Abel brought of the firstborn of his flock and they are fat check the two verses people interpret that in diverse way but i want to believe the way the bible speaks inasema ikawa hatimaye kaini akaleta mazao ya ardhi sadaka kwa bwana hambili naye akaleta wazao wa kwanza wa wanyama wake this in, this is interesting who revealed to abel how to honor god with fast fruit it had never been done before but the bible says habili aleta wazao wa kwanza wa wanyama wake na sehemu zilizo nona za wanyama nataka uangalie the, the, the distinction the uniqueness the honor ameleta wazao wa kwanza wa wanyama na sehemu zilizo no na za hawa wanyama and the bible says especially when you read in new king james version in asema and he and god did not uh, that is verse 4 and the lord respected abel and his offering but he did not respect cain and his offering nataka muangalie mabao mawili the respect in anda kwa Two, two areas the giver and what is given kat ikitendo kinaitwa and god respected abel and his offering and god did not respect cain and his offering you respect it is followed by signs one ukiangalia vizuri hao watu Mtu alijua hapo hapo akitoa kwaba na nimeheshimika. Let me something. Musidaganyike. Anybody who comes to the worship, you are supposed kutoka hapo kijua na ibada yangu na hata mimi nimekubalika. Did you hear that? Hautakiwi kutoka kanisani ukiwa confused. Hautakiwi kutoka kwa worship ukiwa you are not delivered na kitu kimoja ambao inaachilia science is the offering bible says na mungu akaheshimu habili na sadaka yake and by the way mungu akiheshimu you know it it cannot be written if it was not confirmed and known aidha mungu aliogea how mungu akatokea na utukufu there was a sign to show abraham i respect you and i respect your sacrifice na kaini kuna kitu kitedeka to show him sija kuheshimu wewe na sija heshimu sadaka yako and one of the area you expect signs to follow you is the way you appear before god 
with your produce. No kita kujua biashara yako itadumu. Let me let me speak to you now those who are working. Na msikilize vizuri. Do I have done research? Nime nime mimi mnajua sasa wanasiasa wengi some of the politicians are my friends lakini hatuna urafiki katika siasa zao. Mimi wananiheshimu kama kwani full stop. And um, praise the Lord. And I will share a lot. Sometimes when I go to the office, I'm going to be able to talk to you. Yes. Unakuta mwanasiasa ambao unaheshimu sana is ana uchungu ambao wezi. And una, somebody just a bishop, just pray for me. I sense I can die anytime. Hello, praise God. Kama ni muke, wawa, wawa, I pray for my marriage, my husband, whatever. Those people, those people check. Hakuna jia igine ya ishara ya baraka ispokuwa madhabahu. Na utajiri wao haubariki vizazi beyond second generation. Actually, akiacha mashaba, generation inaofuata hapo, diyo tui na itumia. Second generation suffers a lot. I've done a research how to it's only politicians who honored God, who honored the altar, who knew who God is, about Tajiriwao, who fikia second, third generation. But I want to tell you something. Nataka nikiwa mtumishi wabwana, and I speak on behalf of God, the way you appear before God, wacha kutoke ishara kwaba, even ukikufa, meaka miatano ijayo. Utajiri wako will be speaking to generations. Amen. Hallelujah. You see like now Jacob, eh? Jacob wakati munga ni mtokea, nisema aje. Aisema, Jehovah, umenitokea. Pahali hapa umenitokea, nitakujegea madhabahu. Daima utakuwa mungu wangu. Na chochoto takacho nipa, nitakutorea fugura kumi. Jacob, you know, Ure mwanamuke musamalia, munajua katika New Testament. Miaka ya mamia ya miaka leta. Somebody can claim he kizima ni cha Jacob. Alikunywa hii maji na mifugo yake. And you are still enjoying it. Many generations later, they talk about Jacob. That's how you should start now. That sign, your blessings that follow your generation and generation should start now. Amen. Simunaona Eli. Eli alipo halibu maneno. Unajua Eli. Eli vijana yake wageshika wasichana pare kwa Eli. Can you imagine? Watoto wako. Amba unahudumu nao. Pare kwa entrance. Wanashika wasichana wanao kuja kuhudumu hapo. Wanalala na wao hapo. Ile nyama amba inasemekana hii isikuliwe. Hii kwanza itolewe kwa mugu. Hii ni ya mugu. Eli alikuwa na kura yake na na kura ya mugu. Hata hagojo itolewe. No. Bwana kasema pana ni mesema staki maobi mimi. Na mutu, na mutu wasi niambia nisame hii family. Haka sema hii nyumba ni meacha ishara fulani. Na hiliyo diyo ishara. God decreed three signs of curse. Kwa njumba ya Eli. Haka sema wakatu wa wote dunia takuweko. Mutu yoyote sijiwa DNA ya Eli. Ya metoka na Eli. Hata zeeka watakuwa kikufa kwa vijana. Prima chua death. Iyo haku wana atataka hini bode ya muate ya muambie mungu wa samea pana. Jabra pili ya kasema hivi. Wakati wote dunia hiko. Hata ruhusu mtu wa hiyo nyumba. Awe kuhani. Asimai mbele yake. Hata ruhusu. Na raana ya tatu. Ishara ya raana. Ni kwamba wakati wa wote mungu atabaliki wengine. Watoto na uzao wa eli. Utaoba msaada kwa waliyo balikiwa. Na pana kasema. Nitateda jabu. Abaro mwenye tasikia atawasha na masikio. I pray the way you appear before God will produce a sign for you and your generation. I say you need to be careful now. Uko hai sasa, uko na chance sasa. God has given you an altar. I tell you, you need to be very careful. Usitumia umda kaudegefu. Honor God. Tumia munda kama Abraham. Hallelujah. And God will literally bless you. We are talking about size because of acceptable sacrifice. Hallelujah.
Here, acceptable sacrifice also involves acceptable services. Usifagia kanisa kama unachukua kuna watu unaona hivi hapo hizi. Una speaker hii peke yake hii. Hii this one can cause God to curse all your generations. This this small thing. Hii tu. You see this thing here. Kitu kidogo sana. But kuna mtu alitoa kasema na hii nime hii nimeiombea I dedicate this kwa Mungu. Kuiangusha uvuje tu ukifika mchezo utajua ni utajua ni ya Mungu. Hizi vitu, hizi vitu hakuna kitu inaingia katikani kabla. Nakumbuka mama mama anambia bishop can you dedicate this? Katiba yetu inasema chochote kimetolewa kanisani kiwe dedicated to be holy for use in the church. Do you know hii mimi kuchukua nipeleke kwa kwa nyumba ikae kwa nyumba yako is a problem now. You this one it's prayed for hata hii kiti hata hii Ndio kuna watu wamezoea ate ninaomba huru baro ya kanisa. You can do that. Oba ya neiba bwana. Ino visti. Hii baba tumeombea hii huru baro. Itumike kwa kazi takatifu ya nyumba yako. Na yo naomba. Wenda na yege shagi. Ega kuwe dhubu. Hizi hakuna kitu. Hii ni mezeba. Hizi mezeba. Hata hizi. Naleta wa bishop obea hizi ninazitenga katiba yetu sehemu moja proper sema sema anything in the church should be set apart to be holy and our cause talk about handling holy things i think we chapter can remember to the idea handling hii kitu ukanyanga uvuje na waacha umevuja you should replace it na leta niombe no replace let abili have you ever known any time okay ni kama fugu la 10 zamani kama ngobe ingetolewa kama fugu la 10 ununue ugenunua na na pesa na pesa juu yake because of the rotor the other time kuna mtu alita mahidi nikaza hii mahidi ina uzwaje ina uzwa shilingi 2500 i can't i can't buy that so i bought at 4000 bay ya heshima Beya heshima praise god nikanunua zikuwa bidi nikanunua moja nikaenda nikabeba ingine nikabia wazee mkakule hiyo but siezi nunua bei ya kitale na bei ya kwenu hapana ah, hapana hapana ni 2500 au buy 5000 why i want to honor god isi biashara and i'm so happy kwa hiyo pesa imeenda kwa mungu and god knows that you know when you know Mungu ameona hata kama hujaabia mtu you feel good. Hii hali ya kwamba na Bwana akaheshimu sadaka hiyo na akaheshimu ya kutoa. Mtu you, you, you always feel it. Mtu ambaye umetuletea hapa mabaki ya chakula, mabaki ya supermarket, mabaki ya nini, wewe tutupie tu kwa chodo. Lakini the truth is Rana ya kaini utaisikia tu. Mtu kutoka hapo naenda you know your offerings should speak kwamba nilipotoa sadaka hiyo heshima ilinenwa it followed my family and my children kwa shule that's the decision now japo lingine genesis chapter 5 chapter 5 verse 22 uh, just read it and then we pray bible naongea kuhusu another way that god you produce sign in your life is declaring a walk with God declaring a walk with God bible says in verse 22 verse 21 genesis chapter 5 enoch lived 65 years and begot methuselah and after he begot methuselah enoch walked with god 300 years and had sons and daughters so all the days of enoch were 365 years and enoch walked with god and he was not for god took him ukiangalia genesis chapter 5 it gives generations watu ambao 
katika sehemu fulani baada kutoka wakati Mungu abariki Adam na Eve na Seth. Eh? The Bible says as in the days of Seth people started calling on the name of the Lord. Yaani watu wako wanajua kuomba beleni. Wakati wakaanza kujua, hey, kube Mungu ni Mungu wa kuomba. Na unaona kuna watu hapa Methusera Enoch. And by Bible katika hiyo record there's a distinction. There's a man anaitwa Enoch. Enoch decided to walk with God. Baba sema alitembea na Mungu mpaka according to the scripture kuna mahali alifika akawa you know Bible says until he was not for God took him. Maybe ni ni nisipotumia Bible background I can imagine who who followed Enoch until they noticed Enoch haonekani na maiti yake yonekani and they said ai oh jamaa Mungu alimchukua it's true let's agree with the bible until god took him away now kuna hii tabia ambao unaweza amua i have decided mimi na Mungu ngojea uamuzi wa mtu in the time unaishi god waits for you desire however much god loves you akona prophecy akona nini mungu hugojea sana uamuzi wako na jambo la moja eno kulifanya is a decision to walk with god kitu kimoja kitafanya ishara zianze kukufuata ni uamuzi fulani wa kutembea na mungu ha how do you walk with god Mungu Bible says Amos chapter 3 verse 3 two cannot walk together unless they agree. Kitu kimoja kitafanya Mungu ajue umeamua kutembea na yeye ni some agreements that you make. Sometimes be a god kila mwezi nitakuwa nikifuga na kuoba wiki fulani. Either niko kwa hewa, niko baharini, niko whatever Either iko Christmas hii nimeamua there's an agreement that you keep Kuna wakati mtu ana agree kuna wakati Daudi asema ati niliamua kufuga mdomo wangu an agreement of the mouth how do you keep your mouth Kuna mambo nime agree sasa there are things that are not entertaining in my mouth Hallelujah an agreement an agreement of service nimeamua katika kanisa la Kristo kanisa la Kristo mahali na shiriki kwa maana wewe ni mshirika wa bahati do you know jina kanisa ni ni watu wanaokusanyika pahara fulani a fellowship katika ushirika wangu wa kanisa mahali Mungu ameniweka have agreed kumtumikia Mungu hivi na hata Mungu amejua because you can't claim to walk with God unless kuna mambo mawili matatu mane about huta huta vuja another agreement with God is agreement of character agreement of character God can give you any gift if your character allows and gives God assurance God knows there's a decision you make. Unajua wakati Ayubu aliteseka sana na watu hawakujua vile ameokoka. You know that man started make a st- uh, confession asma mimi sijawahi guza mke wa mtu. Sijawahi ona mtoto an orphan nikamwachilia. Sijawahi kuona mtu anapita kwa jia akiwa na jaa nikamwachilia. Yes, you know Mungu alisema this man ni mkamilifu na ni mtimilifu na ni mcha Mungu. Na ni ushuhuda Mungu alitoa kuhusu yeye. Na hata wakati aliteseka sana aliambia watu, "No we, I I just I still feel the testimony, the things that I have kept with God. They are still speaking in me. Until one day I can say my I know my redeemer lives and one day he will appear. Na atakapotokea sitakuwa mgeni kwake. He will be my friend. Hallelujah. Yes, character agreement. Kuna mambo siwezi fanya. 
Siwezi fanya. Hello, praise God. Some of us you been in the ministry. Unakuta umekana wadada hao wengine ngabo wengine uko na mwanamke mko naye. Yeye yeah, anaamini yeah, unaweza jaribiwa. Only to know you can't, you can't. There is an agreement, you can't. You know, some of them wanakwambia kwani kwani bishop ajaribiwi. No. I, I have a walk with God. I don't just live in this world. I walk with God. I walk with God. I walk with God. Hallelujah. Si kuishi na ishi tu. Kuishi kwangu ni kutembea na Mungu. Let be known. Wacha ijulikana hata nyinyi mko shule kule hostels. I am a woman who has a walk. I am a man who has a walk with God. There are things sita ongea. There are things sita fanya because I've declared a walk with God like Enoch. Now that itself it has chilia the signs of God ishaza bwana katika maisha yako. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Job lingine as I finish now because this is a big lesson is science that proves you are God. Katika maisha mtu anayetamani Mungu wake ajulikane sana. Mungu wake atukuke sana. Kwamba you don't just go for ordinary way of ministry. You go beyond ordinary. Sema God sitaki ibada tu ya kawaida. Sitaki crusade tu ya kawaida. Naomba Bwana kuwe na ishara zako. Now one of the things that you cause God to produce sign is number one, if you check katika 1st Kings chapter 18 First Kings chapter 18. First Kings chapter 18. First Kings chapter 18. Let's go there very quickly. Mm -hmm. Verse that is 6. First Kings chapter 18 verse that is 6. Wafalme wa kwanza sura ya 18 aya ya 36. It came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said Lord God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob or maybe is Israel let it be known this day one thing about itafanya Mungu tuakutumie is when how to check mpaka Mungu wako onekane what about they cleef for their god to be known they are god to be known they are god to be known their faith to be known they move to that level and as some god of abraham isaac and jacob let it be known today I say friends praise him that's what you scream for what are about we just that's what you cleave for what are about to naongoza home churches that god let it be known today now kuna mahali nafika katika business katika family katika kuishi you start like elijah unasema lord god of my fathers god of my fathers apostles and prophets mungu wa manabii na mitume bwana wa ibrahimu isaka na yakobo let it be known today amen there are three things ambazo mungu angetaka kuachilia ishara zijulikane number one, if you check your scripture bible says let it be known today i hope you are there now that is chapter 18 the verse that is six Let it be known this day that you are God in Israel. You are God. You are not God among gods. You are the only true God. So many amen. Hallelujah. Number two, I am your servant. Mungu hawezi kudhibitika na acha utumishi wake. Na ijulikane wewe ni Mungu wa kipekee. Na ukijulikana hivyo pia ijulikane I am your servant I serve you Eh hey, hallelujah wapendwa Mungu anapodhibitika na yeye akudhibitishe Aliambia mtu aliambia Joshua Joshua I will do a sign 
If you read Joshua chapter 3 verse 7. Joshua nita kutukuza bere hawatu. Wajue kwamba I am with you just as I was with Moses. Jesus received praise. Na ikajulikane leo. Wewe diya mungu Israeli. Let the other gods be removed. Ubaki peke yako. You are God in my family. You are God in my business. You are God in my body. You are God in my calling. You are God in what I'm doing. Where? Sio to be a shayo nafanya. Naijulikane he is only God. Amen. Sio to kuishu naishi. Naijulikane kwamba he is God. Only God. And you are his servant. And that, that thing that this man claimed, Akasema Hivi, if you check your verse, I'm your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That they may know you are the Lord God, and you have turned their hearts back to you. Answer me with fire today. Mimi, I believe one day utasimama your bedroom. Utasimama your sitting room. Utasimama kwa your biashara. Utasimama kwa your dege ukienda China. Utasimama kwa your gari yako ukienda kubeba mizigo Tanzania, Zambia. Nimesikia sasa kuna biashara ya, ya mahidi sana kutuwa Zambia. Eh, there's somebody who called me, Bishop, can Kenyans come for, although already menundua nyingi sana. Our Bishop from Zambia, our, our Kenyans going, let be known, let it be known, let it be known. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when, when he says things, people, the other day, the other day, and one of this, a, a tiny girl came a bishop, I wanted. And I was so surprised this week, I came to a bishop, look at, I have a visa, I have a visa in Germany. Simple, simple things happening around. Hallelujah. The other day I preached about, don't give up your vision. A young man here came as bishop. I'm almost dying, but I want to walk by your anointing. A kapata scholarship ya kweda America in his own way. Nobody mutetea. Ali gugu mpake katokea. Five years fully paid scholarship. Hallelujah. Hii ni kanisa. Can you hear this? Mimi uskia vipaya. Niki kuono meketi hapo the same way all through. Nataka kujua kiketi hapo nilifungua nyumba yako. Nataka kujua kiketi hapo tulipeka mtoto wako ngambo. Nataka kujua kiketi hapo nilipitia go down yako nikaona vile unapaka vitu. Mnasikia? Mahali tunaenda kuwaombea, tunaendaka ndani ya mguzana. And the Bible says the deep called the deep. The deep. Mahali tunafika kupata unabii. It should produce deep in you. The deep called the deep. Unless who's I, I told people, Miss Taki Wato Kuvura Ibada, Nataka Watu Wakuja Kuona Mungaba. Don't just attend. Kuna Watu Nakuja, they don't care. And I tell you, please, don't be deceived. The only way Utaona Mabadriko, don't compare yourself with others. First of all, have favor with God. Have favor with? Yes. And I'll, I'll, I'll say this by God's grace. Mungwa Getaka. Number one, was the bill come by Elijah? Yakusema, let it be known in my business, in my marriage, in my preaching. You are the only God. Iku ngangana. Ni kama sasa, tunangangania sasa, tunabishana na watu kuzuwe. Baba, muda wa mabishano uishe. Ijulikani leo. Muda wa kutebea, tukibishana. Paka Elijah kabia Ahab. Ahab. Ahab, sikia sasa. Amen. Muta sita sita kati ya mamba mawiri tangulini. Kama Jehovah diye mungu wa tumikiwe. Kama Bali diye mungu wa tumikiwe. Na akasema, I command the king. Nikusanyishia watu wote kwa mulima. It has been on today. God you answer. There are times you need to push your family that level. There are times you need to push your heart that level. Why don't you reach a level where God can be seen? Umeka kabiashara kwa barabara, niyambia mababa makoi mimi ataka where the body is. Now you know when you see things, see us. I just need to lay hands on you. Nikuambia na kuondoa pare sasa. It's so easy. We don't just speak. Sisa tucheki. 
come here, I want to see you blessed. The only thing I want to see is, is a starting point. The next thing we prophesy. Do you know when wale wenye ukoma wane hakuna mtu aliwaambia kuna unabii umetolewa but their decision made god to choose them to fulfill a prophecy about the rest of tajiri kwa the whole nation ni wenye ukoma hawana nguo hawana msaada lakini uamuzi wao ulifanya wachaguliwe na Mungu kutimiza unabii ulioleta rotomani don't worry don't tell us about mimi na kaka it's not an issue of what you it's a decision inao lenga mungu itafanya unabii fulani umekaa miaka tatu katika kwa bwana bwana kuchague kutimiza it's a matter of god choosing you to fulfill a specific prophecy but you must make a decision we want to see you na huyu dugu ameamua kwenda hey and then God said, this is how God you are working in your life. And therefore, by God's grace, God, you do th three things. Let me know you are the only God. Number two, I'm your servant. Number three, chochote nafanya ni wewe menetuma by your word. Three things. God, you confirm himself, confirm his servant, and confirm your work. Confirm your ministry. Confirm your calling. Usikae bila hizo tatu. And God is willing to do it. Let's start for prayer.